and we should be live. Actually starting the stream on time. I mean, technically two minutes late, but, like, that's just because, you know, setup and such sometimes takes a bit longer than you expect. But I'm essentially starting on time today, which is awesome. Assuming the stream is going. Um, okay, it is going. <laughs> had to refresh, because I have my stream running in the background, I had to refresh before it actually <laughs> was showing. So I was worried there that I was offline and just talking to myself. But no, we are live. We are on location in, you know, my room as we tend to be for the streams. Uh, I don't even remember the last time we had a stream not in here, I guess, bef before I moved. <laughs> my last place where I would... Ah, yeah, where I would do the streams generally in... Well, back then I did writing streams as well, so I'd do writing streams in my room and I would do video game streams in the basement. Initially in the living room, but then after my roommate at that last place got a cat, I had to switch to the basement because the cat would be going after the cords and such, and... Hey, Astro, welcome in. How are you doing? How's your day going? Okay. So, you're good to go. We're starting up, playing Castlevania 2. Um... We're just gonna reset because I'm not sure what. Uh, and thank you for the host, the Astropath. Anyone not following Astro, you definitely should be. He's a cool guy, does a lot of uh, variety games, much like myself. Currently playing through Populous the Beginning, a game that I'm not really familiar with, but I've watched him streaming a couple of times, but but generally while well, I'm doing other stuff, so haven't really quite got the grasp of it. But it's a cool game, he's a cool streamer, you should check him out. Okay. And then got all sorts of things done, so it's a good opportunity to sit down and not do anything. Okay. That's been a little while since I play the game. So to remember how everything works. Okay. Okay, this is where we go to get healed, right? Rest here for a while. Yeah. I have beaten this game before, yes. It wouldn't be on the list if I hadn't. Um... Want to buy holy water? I don't have money for holy water, otherwise I would. Uh... I have an idea. Yeah, I just, it's been a while, so I don't really remember a lot of stuff. Flames on top of the sixth tree, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mainly I don't remember where everything is, because the game is a uh, bit of a labyrinth. Or... A maze, I should say, not a labyrinth. <laughs> yeah. It's because we're both Canadian, so like, you know, we're... Okay, that's the direction we don't want to go yet. So we're on the same wavelength. Who 
says Labyrinth. Canadians, apparently. But technically, as I learned recently, a labyrinth... See, a labyrinth differs from a maze. The labyrinth is actually, um... Doesn't have uh, multiple routes or anything. A labyrinth is a single path, but it's designed to disorient you, so when you get to the end, you have no idea which way is which. So, I learned that recently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I heard it from Dale Kingsmill. I think when she was streaming, because I haven't watched many of her mythology YouTube videos recently, so I don't think that was where I heard it. But I remember, I did hear it from her, so probably when she was streaming recently. I would... Yeah, continue. Game overs don't really matter in this game. And you can't get extra lives in this game, I don't think, right? So that's not something I have to worry about maxing out. That just... Well... You have, you know, one, two, or three lives. Yep. Ooh. Uh, single path to the center. Then you turn around. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize it was... Oh! That's what you mean by it only has a single exit. Entrance exit. Okay, let's just get out of here. There we go. That's better. I forgot how bad the jump the jumping is in this game. Okay, E is for experience, I believe. The L's are level. Yeah, no air control whatsoever. Which I mean, I suppose is more realistic than something like Mario, but it makes it, uh,. When Mario is what you're used to. Like I said, I played like Castlevania. I played and beat Castlevania one and two, but the majority of platforms I played in my life were Mario games. <laughs> oh, I uh, got out of the poison or acid or whatever it is. Yeah. Morning, uh Sun is vanquished horrible night. I'm really curious to see if what happens when you get the day counter up to ninety nine.
That's, I think, the first level. We're not gonna do that quite... Well, I don't know. Well, maybe. Sure. I think... The first time I did this, I didn't have this thing selected, or I didn't have it at all. I can't remember which it was. So, I was like, how do I do anything here? And somehow I jumped on it, because this, this platform is invisible, but it's still there if you don't have the orb, or if you don't at least have it selected. But for some reason I randomly jumped, landed on it, and realized, oh. And I'm like, okay, well. There we go. Ooh. Got out there, but then he knocked me right back down. with. Yeah. I should maybe... <laughs> yeah. The, the respawning, like, right where you died makes this game a lot easier than it otherwise might be. It's like the first Castlevania was... It's right, there's... Plus. The first Castlevania was super difficult, but this one was mostly is mostly just confusing. Like you don't know where you're going or what you do. Because the first Castlevania is just keep following like the single path, no fuss, no muss, until you get to the end type thing. This one has very little difficulty in, um, like, things like combat or whatnot because of the fact that you can just, like, keep respawning and whatnot. Which makes it, yeah, very forgiving. The only thing is you do lose your experience when you game over. So, that's an issue. Yeah, the, um, the levels aren't too bad, like, like, yeah, you might be wandering around a bit to find where you need to go, but you can usually... ...manage without too much difficulty. That's not making it. There is some stuff with, like, um, invisible walls and such, so you sometimes have to, like, do a bit to find where you're going, or where you can go. And I think some walls you can break with certain stuff. Not that I have anything right now. But not all walls, so, like, that, that might have been a dead end regardless of what I had. It's definitely dead end with what I had, but... And then, regardless. Holy water, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Because the walls. The walls have seen things and they're not innocent, so holy water harms them. Uh... That makes sense. The other thing that's interesting is that time doesn't actually pass when you're in the manners, which doesn't really isn't really a big deal for me because I'm wanting to max out the timer. But like, if you're wanting to get the better endings, which is something I'm going to want to do in subsequent playthroughs, um, then you're wanting to like do most of your leveling up 
in the manners where you don't have to worry about the time passing. Uh, withholding turkey from the hungry, yes. I'm actually have, end up having turkey today. I'm not sure because it's a family gathering today. So, I don't know for sure if turkey is going to be one of the things we have there. But it's definitely a possibility. Which also means I can't go late on today's stream. It's going to be, you know, it's standard three hours. game over. All that experience I've been gathering, all for naught. Okay, where was the hole? So now there's a hole that I fell through. Was it? Oh, the hole is up there. So the, the first, it's, up, it's only after you go off a bit that there's the hole. Game over any time you level up. True, true. as well as my experience. I figure by just trying to make sure. Okay. So Okay, so the first two I think are fake. I think that confused me the first time I saw people playing any of the Castlevania games, is that, you know, I saw hearts and I expected that to be the health. No. Uh... A red tunic over a leather unitard? I mean, kind of does, yeah. About. Yeah, as a kid, I never actually. I think probably the first time I saw it was when I, when I was a teenager and I started watching videos on Speed Demos Archive of speedruns of Castlevania games. So I started watching like speedruns of like, you know, Mario games and stuff, and I'm like, let's see some other games. Castlevania looked cool, so I'm like, oh, let's watch these speedruns. But yeah. Oh, yeah, how, how is that game audio? Is that a good level, or do I need to turn up or down or anything? Uh... I'm gonna die again. Shortly. Audio level seem perfect? Excellent. Honestly, that, that skeleton wasn't what I expected to kill me, though. Well, 
What I might do soon is, if I keep game over here, I might go back outside. Or if I keep falling down there. And just work on leveling up. Pro probably closer to the town that I can go heal up occasionally and not keep game over. In fact, I think that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go out there now. I can also build up some parts and buy some more stuff. Buy some holy water and some... Whatever else I could buy in that starting town. Uh, I think I wanted to go down here, right? Maybe? No. Here we go. It's interesting how, um, in the overworld, enemies are weaker during the day. end down there, it's really weird. Uh, stronger. Well... Well, it depends. Is it the moonlight making them stronger, or is it the sunlight making them weaker? To me, the sunlight making them weaker would make more sense. But I'm no scientist, so... Oh, well, see, I'm not talking about, like game code, and I'm talking about in-universe. <laughs> okay. Rest here for a while. But <laughs> okay, go check the manual. <laughs> May actually be explained. Just wait, it's gonna be like... In actuality, their normal strength is not actually seen in this game as... Uh... <laughs> as the, they are both stronger at night and weaker during the day than they normally would be if it weren't for whatever conditions are present. <laughs> Uh, 
for her Dracula's curse, yeah. Take out these guys out quickly before they start jumping. Maybe they're too close to you. Uh, which line from the manual? Another warning from the spirit. A few friendly villagers are town pranksters, and their clues are false. Even if they're not false, like, a lot of them aren't particularly helpful. Of course, you never know until you take the chance. So a lot of the clues are things that only make sense once you actually know what they mean, if I recall correctly. It's like, um, Mega Man, uh, boss weaknesses, or whatever, it's like, once you know what they mean, you can kind of, like, work out how they make sense, but even then, there are, like, leaps of logic. And, like, some of them make sense, but some of them, I mean, some of them, like, make more sense than others, obviously, but some of them are just like, what? I think they are better in the Japanese version, just that a lot of the clues were badly translated, if I recall correctly. are generally better, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you wanted to sell me something, right? Uh, we already bought you, Mew. I'm gonna go heal. for a while. You know what I should also do is check if there's any hidden rooms in this starting town. But some of the towns have like hidden stuff in some of the buildings and such. Don't actually have maps of the towns, just of the castles, as it calls them. That's interesting. Okay, um, 
Castlevania 2 maps. Let's do Google search, NES maps. Town of Joba. No, it doesn't look like there's any secrets here. We just gotta buy a thorn whip and we can buy some holy water. Uh, and yes, maps, yeah, that's where I went to. <laughs> I just always check game facts first because they have like, you know, maps, walkthroughs, like everything all in one place, but Yeah. Uh I think we're gonna we're almost have enough for the thorn whip, so we're gonna get that first before buying some holy water. Yeah. Yeah, it's been doing that. Does it's been doing that for a while. Cause they've been like, um, I mean, they've been kind of, or they've been connected for like years. But I'm not sure when the actual, um, the actual URL changed for game packs. the holy water or the thorn whip? Your holy water. Uh, odd and unnecessary, yep. Thorn whip is okay over there. The plan is, I mean, it was a while ago and otherwise, like, nothing's really changed. There's probably, like, behind-the-scenes stuff, like, who's in charge and such. But. I don't think anything's like gonna be having the game packs anytime soon. Also, like game packs and game spots still like serve very, uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Cause like game packs and game spot like do serve very different purposes. Like game spot is more about like. Reporting news and whatnot in Game Facts is, you know, about the uh, all the facts and the walkthroughs and the message boards. Well, I think they have combined message boards, if I recall, right? Can't you like access the same message boards from both sites? I know that used to be the case, but I'm not sure if it still is. I always do it from Game Facts because that's just I've never really used Game Spot beyond occasionally like. The only thing I actually ever release really GameSpot is when I'm like on GameFAQs on a homepage and they have like, you know, links to the news articles on GameSpot on occasion. It's like, oh, that looks interesting, let's check that out, article out. Yeah. 
Yeah, because they're both owned by CNET, I believe it is. That's probably similar to how, like, after both Geek and Sundry and Nerdist were bought by, um... Uh, oh, there we go, we leveled up. By, um... Legendary, how Geek and Sundry often gets, like, uh, included in Nerdist stuff, whatever, like... Where, like, say, the stuff at, like, Comic-Con... Well, San Diego Comic-Con was, like, you know, Nerdist with Geek and Sundry type thing. Leveled up, I can't get experience anymore along the path to level one. But I'm just waiting for the date so I can go buy some holy water and then I'm gonna head back. So I don't think I can buy holy water during the night. Or like, buy anything during the night for that matter. shut down and mess with monsters. Apparently none of the monsters are, like, entrepreneurs. Like, one of these skeletons could, like, open up himself a decent business out here, I think. Make a nice living for himself and his skeleton family. But now all they're doing is just walking back and forth until I come and whip them to oblivion. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. Sell the hearts. The hearts are the money currency, though, so... What would you sell them for? Also, why do skeletons have draw hearts, like, are they just collecting them, or... They don't have their own hearts, they're skeletons. I feel like this game takes some really big leaps of logic here. Wanna buy holy water? Yes. aren't serving any purpose in this place. There's something to barter for. I mean, yeah. I suppose. I possibly should have healed before leaving, but I only have, like, the one bit of damage. Gotta move some water around, no worries. I understand the need to do chores. Well, now my damage doesn't matter. Okay. 
Now that I have holy water, I should actually be using it. The holiest of the waters. Easier already. Thorn whip. Oh, there's a ton of floor there. Luckily, I'll be able to just jump right on out. Yeah, we're not getting experience anymore, so that's definitely confirmed that this is indeed the first level, which I was already pretty sure it was, but. That was a bit more damage than I would have liked to have taken. I... no. Missed out on those hearts. This platform is fine. Up here, where we need to jump to the third one. Well, that was game over already. I have one more life left. Not a big deal. Lost all the hearts I had, which I had a decent amount, but it's not a super big deal. Amount of skeletons up there. that appetizing. Invest in an oak steak? Yes. I probably don't have enough, do I? 
38. Okay. Destroy the curse and you'll rule Brawl's mansion. completely missed during my previous play. For one second, I just heard my phone. Um, just respond to this. Symbol of evil will appear when you strike the stake. Okay. quite effective. Oh, three skeletons again. Weird little dripping thing. Caused some annoyances there. And now we should have enough. We're about to get made that jump again now. I have to just walk between the two skeletons and just try to like keep pace with them. Be like, I'm one of you now. Nobody questions this. Day 13, they still haven't realized I'm not one of them. Good sir, thank you very much. Okay. 
third book I think is here. A flame flickers inside the ring of fire. So like Johnny Cash is here, is that what you're telling me? I mean, granted, I think I really lose, like, my hearts. But it's nice to have a decent amount of hearts, because then, you know, when you find somewhere to buy something, you can... don't have to go saving up. You already got it. You already got what you need. Hey Jim, what's happening? Aha! Two and one. I didn't even realize it wasn't really one of them. Until it was too late. Now possess Dracula's rib. Well, hot diggity dog. I think this game doesn't actually like. After you beat it, doesn't actually transport you to the start or anything. It's just like, oh yeah. It's like yeah, you beat it, but you still need to actually go walk back. Here's how we can get in here. I don't think it's useful. Yeah, so. This was a mistake. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were definitely made. Okay, we're here. Yeah. 
sometimes water is our enemy. I think I killed... I think I screen off an attack. Oh, I can't look! You can see my whip on the other side of the screen. Which is the tip of it. That's cool. Well, that's, you know, particularly useful under normal circumstances. Because, you know... Probably gonna put more effort into setting it up than you're actually gonna save by doing it, but... It's actually kinda cool. Experience again. What a horrible night to have a curse. experience when you get heart when you get the hearts. And you don't drop no heart, or if you miss getting the hearts, you don't get no experience either. dropping hearts, so it's working out. Laundry done. You got your laundry moved around? Like, I assume when you said, you know, we still watching while folding, okay. I assume, you know, yeah, folding and putting away or whatever. But just, also I realized, you just said, you know, gotta move some laundry around, so it's just like, okay, move this pile of laundry from here to a different pile. <laughs> uh, just had that thought cross my mind. Uh, towels from the washer to the dryer. Oh yeah. Everything's being moved. Yeah. I don't need to do laundry until Tuesday right now. Because the next day I'm working is Wednesday. At, at this point, currently, like, I only ever, like, pretty much I do laundry the day before I'm at, well, 
I'm working. So sometimes that means doing laundry like multiple days in a row. Sometimes it means, you know, going a few days without doing laundry. Because I have enough other clothes um, that are fine, but like I only have one pair of pants for work and one. No, I actually have two work of the current shirts we have at work. But I only have one pair of pants for work, so I need to be like washing it pretty much every time. I work at a store, I won't say which store, but like, and like, so we have to be wearing black pants, which we provide ourselves, and I, I don't think black jeans are technically allowed, but I know one of my co-workers wears black jeans, so, but other than the pair of pants I got for work, all my other pants are jeans, so, and I don't feel like buying multiple pairs of pants that if I don't uh, uh, well, there's no slacks so I don't need to or whatever. For work, for the t-shirts we wear at work, those are provided. So, yeah. Those I don't mind, like, I generally only, just only take the one. Hey, Valhallen, welcome in. Thank you for the host. How are you doing, Valhallen? Were you just streaming, or is that just a random... Oh, let's give Eric a host. Okay, hey, level up. Oh, we have a lot of hearts. If anyone's not following the Helen... Well, you're in streaming. I didn't think so. I didn't notice you earlier, but... Yeah, everyone, you should go follow... There we go, spelled it right. Uh, who was last playing Stardew Valley. Whenever you were last streaming. Which, I'm not sure. I haven't noticed you streaming. Uh, can't have you have a layer in. Ooh, that's unfortunate. I hope you get over that soon. That sucks. But yeah, I haven't seen you streaming in a while, but I also have and been as active with watching Twitch streams recently as I would like to be because... Ooh, that's... Okay, that's a month ago, so... Yeah. Because, well, work has been pretty busy lately because of the holidays. So... Off and on and working. Uh, yeah. What a horrible night to have a curse. I'm trying to figure out where I am right now. I can look at the world map. Is that one more useful or is... Uh... No, you know what? I think I know where I want to go and it's... further the other way. Hey, Astro, thank you for subbing. That is very much appreciated. Um, my sub goal, I think currently, well, Astro's just subbing. 
Um, that... I... And... <laughs> that pollen's subbing as well. Thanks to both of you. I think that puts me at... 12 subs right now? But it might have dropped, because I know... I have two subs from like a month ago that... I that run out today unless they resub, which... Okay, well, it's still 12 subs, but, well, it does take some time to first subs to disappear from the system. But that also means uh, both of you get uh, sub request days, which, I mean, Astro already knows what it is, because, I mean, today is his last sub request day. Um... So basically, uh, from that the first li link in there, because yeah, you're both tier one, so yeah, you can choose something that I'll stream in a future sub request Sunday, which currently is like out into May. Let's just check here, okay? Um, Astro, we can. This is still on the list because of. I saw it on my list here just because of today, so we'll just update that. Here one. Um. So that'll be so May nineteenth plus. Seven would be um, May twenty sixth. Six. That makes sense, right? I'm just gonna check the calendar just to make sure. So I was worried that, like, even if I do add this, like, just adding seven, that I, like, I was worried that I accidentally messed up somewhere else, so it's nice to look at a calendar to make sure that, yeah, it's 26th, and then June 2nd would be Vahalan. Uh, June 2nd. So, sub requests go pretty far into the future right now. Um... I say June 2nd? June 2nd, yeah. Yeah, so both of you can let me know, just, I mean, obviously, like, May and June are both months away, so you have plenty of time to select something from the list, and so it's no rush. But, yeah. Just make sure I wrote everything down correctly. And back to the game. Okay, so 256 is the max hearts you can get. It's interesting that it's a four-digit number. I think I talked about this back when I was playing the game regularly, but... It still kind of weirds me out. 
Yeah, thank you very much for the s s subs, both of you. That is very much appreciated. What a horrible night to have a curse. Oh. Uh, I mean, I understand why it caps out at 256. Like, a lot of NES games have stuff capping out there. But it's weird that it would show it as a four-digit number, then. <laughs> like... Yeah, it's just out that zero in front of it that's very weird in light of that. Unless the, um, zero... Oh, no, you, actually, you're right. You're right, you're right. It would be 255. That's right, most things tap out of 255. Huh. Unless they're... Unless there would be some way of just... it not having... a value? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't. Cause I, yeah, I'm not sure of any way they would have it not have it value though. Turn right for Dabby's path left for the Barrows Woods. Yeah, it's definitely very weird. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, max level, I think, is... Six? Because... Get levels a lot on the because there's six there's six like levels in the game I believe right or manners or whatever or five no six include yes there's six including the Castlevania itself um and you can get you know one level per like each level. <laughs> so to speak. So 
there anything in here? There is. Will you buy a dagger? Yes. Okay. You'll notice, like, if I. Because once I got to level 1, along the path between the main. the starting town and level 1, I can no longer get any experience. Type thing. Chain whip? Yes, please. Excellent. And see, here I'm still not getting experience because this is now like path to level two, I think. This is considered well, this is still considered path level one, but I don't think so. Either way, it's path to a level I already have I've only beaten level one, but I've beaten I already grown level two, so until so I have to get to like path level 3 or later levels to actually be getting experience again. And yeah. Oh yeah, this is where I was just earlier, so. Or this is where I was. Oh, okay. That's actually interesting. There is something. Over this way. Oh. Um, that would actually skip that message, but that said you now possess the sacred flame. Which is this. I mean, I'm getting, I guess I'm getting parts, but not really getting any more experience. <laughs> what a horrible night to have a curse. Did that stop me from getting the book, or... No, we're still there. To replenish Earth... Kneel by the lake with the blue crystal. Okay. Good to know, I suppose. Uh, oh, there was a flame on the sixth tree, okay.
I just stop jumping as I'm going through an area. Like, the uh, screen scroll, I mean. Okay, so I can't destroy their web that they shoot out. Yeah, we're reaching a town at night. Second, just her phone. Um, you quickly respond to a text here. Yeah, buddy of mine. Oh, hey, Nick. <laughs> I was just responding to your text. <laughs> yeah. My buddy Nick, who just came into chat here, is trying to make plans to see Aquaman. Because <laughs> uh, he's playing our local theater this week. Yeah, so I, I, I was just say text or whatever. I am working at 4 a.m. on Wednesday. So... It depends how late the evening showing is. Okay. What do you got for me? Will you buy some garlic? Sure. Garlic we can buy more, right? Buy some garlic? Yes. Okay. Will you buy some garlic? Oh, wait, I don't know. Two and seven thirty. Mm -oh. Yeah, because two will be streaming at that time, and seven thirty is too late if I'm working at four a.m. on Wednesday. the diamond in front of Deborah Cliff. Okay. I'm guessing Wednesday probably also has... Some... Does Wednesday have two showings as well, or is Wednesday just one? Because Thursday I'm also working at 4 a.m.
Dracula's eyeball reflects the curse. Good to know, good to know. We don't have his eyeball yet, we just have his rib. Buy some garlic. It has special powers. I mean... Being used in garlic bread is definitely a special power. Like, uh, you, you're right about that. Clues to Dracula's riddle are in the Veros Woods. Is this on the... Um, I'm not playing it on the NES Classic. I'm playing it on Virtual on Wii Virtual Console, but it might be? I can check. Uh, NES Classic Edition... Uh, no, just the first Castlevania is... Oh no, wait! Yep, yeah, it is on there. Yeah, and Castlevania 2 is as well. It's one of the ones that's not on the Japanese version, though. So, when I was looking at the... Because on Wikipedia, there's like the Common All Regions list, and there's the North American Europe version, and then there's Japan exclusive stuff. But yeah, so Castlevania 2 is on the NES Classic. Just not on the Famicom Classic in Japan. You have an NES Classic, right, Nick? Buy some of my yannies. <laughs> I know it says laurels. Y'all know what I'm talking about, I think. Laurel versus yanny thing. Was that... Was, was that earlier this year that that happened, or was that, like, further ago? Okay, so where are we wanting to go next? Uh... Okay, uh, seven, seven more is... Okay. So we want to go to, like, the top and then the far left of the... Okay. Uh... You do have one I thought, so yeah. Maybe we'll play later. It is a... Yeah, it can be a very confusing game, like... Like, I would say, I mean, unless you like being confused, don't be afraid to look stuff up online, like maps and whatnot. Laurel Landing might have been last year? Okay. I'd like to exchange a white crystal for a blue one. Deal. Okay, now we can go on to... Second level. It's interesting because, like, the first Castlevania is pretty straight platformer and just incredibly difficult. This one still has a platforming, but it's a lot easier, just more confusing.
mainly because there are so little consequences of death. Like right now, if I were to get a game over, I'd lose 15 hearts. Like my my currency. That's all I'd lose right now if I got a game over. What a horrible night to have a curse. Like when I say that's all I'd lose, like I mean I would like respawn right here where I am. So it's not like I would even lose progress or anything. As far as that goes. Anything hidden or down here? No, just going straight. Low. Also, I'm going to actually check, um, let's check, Laurel, Laurel Yanny. Um, which became popular in May 2018. Yep, so it was this year yet. <laughs> oh wow. My new Zelda 2? There are definitely yeah, there are definitely similarities between it and Zelda 2. They're both I mean they're both the second game in the series that deviated quite a bit from the first by adding in um more RPG elements. And were had a lot of things that made them um, be divisive amongst fans. Okay, so select the orb, and then just do we duck, or do we have to do something else yet? No, that's all we need to do. We just need a duck while we have the blue orb. See, I'm dying, and I'm just, like, respawning right back where I died. So it's a lot easier than Zelda... I just realized I'm being an idiot. I just, what, do, do this? Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this level. Castle 2. So that whole section up those stairs is largely useless, it looks like. There, if you weren't like, using a map, you'd like probably go up, because that looks like a dead end, so you'd go up, which just leads you around nowhere. Now, these stairs we're going to want to go up, but not quite yet. So first, we want to go over here. Ah, oh, crap. Invest in an oak steak. Yeah, so we don't have parts for that. 
Um, but we're also going to want to go up top. Okay, two. Okay. So I know which ones are the... So these two are real. Oh, the ones that are like by the grating is, are the ones that'll drop you down. Uh, destroy the curse with Dracula's heart. Okay. We're gonna need to go get some more hearts, come back, and then... I see, we're at what? Eight? Yeah. Okay, those half parts give us four. Oh, stakes are worth it. Real value's really going up over the next five years. Good to know, good to know. Too soon, your head bounces. You jump too late, and you know, you just don't jump. Where do I jump over the side there at the end? I could have just made it over. Garlic in the graveyard summons a stranger. Uh, do we want to be summoning a stranger though? It sounds like it's kind of a stranger danger. We're gonna need to go back this way anyway. Okay, we're at 40, because we do need the oak stakes to actually beat. Well, okay, we're almost got it. We need. There we go. Let's let you pass underfoot. And then bye bye. Have a nice after afterlife. So you like meeting up with strangers at night in quiet places? I guess. If you're into that kind of thing. Ooh, that was close. Trying to drop through in a way that would. I don't think I can do that though. Uh, invest in oak steak. Yes, please. in here, we got the steak. Time to bring it all home.
I do need to use my sub weapons more. That is definitely something I forget to do. Here you now possess Dracula's heart. Because of course we do. Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, regular staircases in Castlevania are kind of BS as well. I mean, it's not as bad in this one as in, like, the first one, where the staircases could just ruin you. Castlevania, like anything could ruin you. That was a hard game. I believe in faith. That was purely a mistake. To drop the fate, that was also a mistake. Let's just let's just go do this the normal way. Take a look at our map. Castle 3, how do I get there? Ah, from the starting town. Uh... 
Okay. So pretty much, I want to be going first. Go get some more, uh, go, or go buy some laurels and some more garlic if I can. Be easier if I don't get came over and lose the hearts I already have. Or not so much easier, it's just quicker. What's everyone been up to this weekend? Anyone do anything intra do anyone do anything interesting? Like I was working yesterday. Oh, although Um, I fixed an issue I was having also yesterday. Uh, for the longest time. When I would open up my 3DS, or like turn it off and turn it back on or do anything, uh, it wouldn't read the SD card. If I went to the eShop, it would give me the option to, um, to format the SD card and like delete everything because it was corrupted or whatever. But if I canceled that, it would like, um, try loading the eShop again. Do then do the same thing, and after the third time of canceling, I think it would then all of a sudden yes, it would read the SD card. So for the longest time, I was doing that. I was like, it's annoying, but I was like, whatever. But then a couple of weeks ago, it just completely stopped reading the SD card, like completely. So then yesterday, well, starting the um, Friday. Actually, no, technically, I tried starting Friday, but it wasn't worth the issues. Um, I went and uh, copied everything from the SD card over to the computer, delete, or formatted the SD card. I'm saying SD card, technically, it was a micro SD card, but you know, whatever. Um, and then copied everything back over, and now my 3DS is reading it just fine. No issues. So, that's exciting. Now I can play my 3DS games again. Kind of strange because I don't have the capture card for my 3DS. But. Maybe someday. I'd like to get a capture card for the 3DS, they're just, they're so expensive. Especially because I'd probably buy one, I'd probably buy a new 3DS with a capture card already installed. Because I, I don't feel comfortable installing a capture card into a 3DS myself. And I don't know if I feel comfortable sending my 3DS in to get it installed, like, because, like, anything could go wrong. Like, um, you just screw the back of your 3DS and then start working it. Oh, I, I tried all sorts of things before I did what I did. Like, I, but, yeah, because, like, I have, my SD card has, like, 50 gigs worth of stuff on it, my 3DS, so, I, I was not, so, I was not wanting to, like, having to transfer all of it to the computer, but, because that took a while, and then transferring it all back, but, 
eventually I was out of other options, so I did. Yeah, because, like, my 3DS could get lost in the mail, or a number of things could happen, and then I lose, like, everything I have on there. Like, even if I get, like, Nintendo or whatever to, like, restore, like, my purchases, like, because I have a lot of digital games, digital games, but, like, even if I get the I still lose all of the save data, because that, 3DSs don't have any kind of cloud storage or whatever. So. Buy some of my laurels. Yes. Buy some of my laurels. Yes. Four laurels, four garlic. Now, my question is, is that the... Like, I know you can get a bag or satchel or something that allows you to carry more, but is four the... Starting amount. Actually, let's, let's check the operations guide. It might even tell us. Items. Uh, large supply. No, it doesn't actually tell us. <laughs> I mean, I didn't that's, think it would for sure, but I, you know, it's a possibility. Like, that seems like a basic enough piece of information that it might have told us. I thought we were nearing game over, which is why I was like hoping, which is why I was going to the town I did to make sure I could spend the money before I lost it. Okay, don't, don't, don't jump, Eric. Don't jump. Aha. Don't jump as you're screen scrolling. That just ends badly for everyone. Heading back to the starting town. Because from the air, we can then leave. West instead of to the east. Lead us to the fairy, who now we have Dracula's heart. We show it to the ferryman. He'll take us to way to the third level. For whatever reason. Maybe his dialogue will reveal why. There we are, day nine. Hmm. 
Okay. This is what I knew you were going to do when, like, situation like that. So, you know, take jumping down and taking damage, just, you know, plus a little holy water. What a horrible night to have a curse. I mean, are there, are there good nights to have a curse? Like, is that what we're led to believe here? I don't know about that. Here we need to be careful. It's very easy to get knocked off by these fish dudes. I still, like, I still keep doing the jumping when I'm at, like, the edge of the screen. And that keeps ending badly for me, and I keep doing it. Like, you think I would learn by now? Okay, that, was, that was my bad. That was some sweet moves, though. before we go anywhere else. I'll wait all day to heal, but... So yeah. How's everyone doing? What are you all up to beyond just watching me? Or is watching me all you're up to? I know it's very rare that I'm watching a stream and not also doing something else. But it's all very rare that I'm doing, you know, not doing multiple things to begin with. Because there's only so many hours in the day and there's so much stuff to do. So, you know. Do what you gotta. Uh... So just right now, looking at the map for level three. I see. books in level three. Is there anything on the way there though? Rest here for a while. Thank you, good sir. That is much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Gotta get the occasional rest. You know, deal with your weirdness. Just go down the stairs, Eric. Don't risk jump into water. Okay, would have been fine here, but had enough. Close calls. Okay, what even are these things? I 
way through. Let me sh show you the way. I'm once again getting experience. What happened? What's out that away? first. Oh, this is the platform section. Oh. 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 Made it. First try. Horrible night to have a curse. Well, I'll give you a diamond. Thank you. I'll give you a diamond. Okay, I still have all my lives though, so that's not that bad. Or had all my lives, now I have, I have one last, but... Did I cost heart? Actually, wait, does the other stuff cost a heart? One thirty-three as uh yeah. That cost a heart. Okay, so the diamond and the fire both cost hearts. Holy water and the dagger don't. Good to know. This is some decent hearts we're getting here. Just 
nice, because that's also a means decent experience. So we're going to try to level up before doing going to the platform section again. has vanquished the horrible night. Okay. Thank you, morning sun. Unfortunately, I also mean I'm getting less, I'm getting less hearts. And these are easier, though, so, like, it's a trade-off. So another life. I still got that hurt. It's worried because it was like in the ground, but still got it. <clears throat> Not actually certain how much experience I need to level up. That one I'm not gonna know. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And we're pretty much getting our level soon, I assume. So we're, yeah, we're pretty much just grinding right now, but 147. I, mean, I think it's because I don't want to lose all this experience by just actually dying during the platforming. Money is fine, like parts is fine, but... Experience I'd rather not lose. What a horrible night to have a curse. Night. 
191. There we go, there's our level up. Level 3. We're still getting experience here. No, we're not. That just carry over. getting experience that was just carried over from the um the remainder from what we had got before we leveled up. Yep, see Ooh crap. Here we, if we die, if we fall if we die, we start off the beginning again. So, that's, yeah. I like how I made it across on my first attempt, now making it back. <laughs> it's just gonna take forever. <laughs> well, welcome to the, 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 the remainder of the stream, everyone. No, that was way too soon. That's the worst part, is that you don't respawn on those blocks. Ooh. So if you miss... You're back to the beginning. Ooh. Ah, the, the, those two being so close makes... is trickier uh, than you would think. <laughs> okay, I, I, I was joking when I said this was the rest of the stream today, but I mean... It very well could be. Morning Sun has vanquished the horrible night. Okay, that, I was worried that was gonna ruin my jump. But no. I, I still ruined my jump myself just shortly after, but. Yeah. What are we on day 14? 12. We're on day 12? Let's 
See, I had like a rhythm going, but then there was those two that are just super close to each other. Oh god. Okay, okay. Okay, we made it back. Success. Okay, let me just check again. I was looking at the map of this level before, but that was a little while ago. A lot of deaths ago. Okay, so there's gonna be a book over there. Get there. No, actually, no, I gotta I, I, I figure it out. Okay. There's gonna be a book over there. Just two books. Okay, this level's pretty straightforward. All those game wars we need to get our hearts back up so we can actually buy the steak when we get to there. So how does everyone like their steak? It's up there where we're gonna need to get one of the books. And yeah. Also, what's everyone doing for New Year's? Like, because New Year's Eve is tomorrow. I'll actually be streaming in the afternoon, like my normal time. 12 to 3. Oh, with the possibility. That's one that I could maybe see going longer than normal. Continuing off Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Place the laurels in a silk bag to bring them to life. Okay. Yeah. Evening, I might be getting together with some friends. I don't know, I haven't decided for sure yet. I mean, I'll probably will. Probably won't be out till midnight, but I'll probably will. Them for at least part of New Year's Eve. There we go. Stunning them or actually damaging them? Look, okay, it's actually it is damaging them. Okay, where are we now in relation to the second book? Down these stairs. Okay. 
Yeah, besides getting all the books is also going to be part of my 100% definition. I don't have that listed on the 100% site because... Because I hadn't thought of it, or I hadn't... Exactly. I, I knew of the books, but I didn't know, like, if there's something you just collected or, like... was, like, talking to a person, but now that I've gotten them, it's like, yeah, you're actually, like, collecting them and they disappear. Wait for a soul with a red crystal on Deborah Cliff. Okay. Definitely um. not a tornado. That's no mistake, yes, please. Souls, tornadoes, what's really the difference when you think about it? I can't actually use my cell weapons on the stairs, because that requires me to press. I don't know why I'm using myself now. Yeah, because you need to be pressing up to use a sub weapon. You can't, and when you're on stairs, that just causes you to go up the stairs. That's something we don't get much of in this game. Uh, oh, next room. I think it's next room. Yeah, a boss fight. Incredibly easy boss fight. Well, fairly easy. And then we get uh, the golden knife. Uh, is that gonna have a text? For my mom, I need to respond to. Family gathering. Um. Da -da 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 -da. I'm just gonna say three. Uh, let's see. I end stream at three. Read someone. I'm gonna say three oh five. Golden knife. Ooh, did that cost? Let's see, 22, 20, yeah, that's, that, that does cost. But we're getting nearly all of the bottom row of stuff. Oh, this is the camel one? Oh, yeah. Okay, now we need steak. And we now possess. Dracula's Eyeball. Which is what everybody wants. <laughs> well, Lamborghini said okay, and she also actually used an emoji, which I've never seen my mom use in a text before, I don't think. Of course, death is back, because you can't kill death permanently. We don't need to fight him again, though. We already got the weapon from him. Because apparently on some ship uh, in Supernatural where they probably did kill death, I don't know. I s Actually, I shouldn't say that. That might be spoilers for somebody in chat. I saw watching Supernatural years ago, though.
think I saw watching Supernatural back when Dean had the mark of Kane. for one deal. I can just go down here, right? Oh wait, I can use... I can use it on the stairs, I just have to be really quick with the button presses. I wish you could just jump off the stairs when you're going down them. Or up them, like whatever. No, you have to go all the way up or you have to walk all the way up or down. And that's just tedious. So I often just jump even though it ends up with me off from dying. Because sometimes you're just like, I don't want to go up or down another set of stairs. Now, you can see where the stairs are landing. They're generally okay. Ooh, that actually worked out quite nicely. we going now? Uh... Ah, I exited off the map again. But let's see here. I forgot it's a bunch of towns. Where is level four? Or castle four? Castle four, okay. So that's from... That's weird. Looks like we passed Castle 5 to get to Castle 4. That seems a bit weird to me. Oh, 
have check something as well. Castlevania 2 Strategy Wiki. So I want to check something and see here. Oh. Okay, so I was right about garlic and laurels being able to carry four of each, and then more once I get the silk bag. So I can store up to eight of each. Um. Okay, okay. Okay, no, that's how we get to Castle 4, that's right, the tornado thing there. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna wanna go there. We're going to the town of Alba. Uh, welcome back, Mick, and yes, we are getting a Picard Star Trek series. Um, don't really know the details. What's happening? Sure, I'll take you to a good place. Ha, ha, ha. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. So we have no idea what the card series is actually going to be. Like, is he going to be, like, still a captain? Is he going to be an admiral? Is he going to be retired living on a vineyard and solving mysteries? Okay, did this bring me to the same place I was already, or did it bring me to... Okay, no, this brought me somewhere new. Town of Elba. Named for Jessica Elba, I'm sure. Um, just a little bit of time travel involved in that. But, you know, you know how it goes. Okay, so... Now what do we want in this town? Okay, we're full on laurel, so we don't need that. Full on garlic. Um... Okay, so somewhere in here we have person who's going to give me a red crystal. Uh... Also heal while we're here. So where is the crystal person? Right there. Okay. And where is the healing place? Up there. Okay. We'll do this first. I'd like to exchange a blue crystal for a red one. Can I have the red crystal. Let's just go heal ourselves. And I think that's... Yeah, that's all I'm doing here right now. 
Uh... You'll probably be doing some ninjutsu stuff on New Year's Eve, oh yeah. There's some of that going on. I was saying earlier, I'll be streaming some Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga tomorrow. It's been actually a couple of weeks since I did that because I've been working the past few Mondays. Really hoping with Christmas behind us that I'm getting less hours at work moving forward. But we'll see how it goes. Anything along this path of interest? Yes. Yes, there is. Okay. Do I want to go down there to get the silk bag? Wait a sec, I have to remember something. I have a shield. Why am I not using it? Yeah, we use Dracula's rib as a shield. Don't know why, but whatever works. What a horrible night to have a curse. The curse of the night. Okay. Okay, so that's right there. That might be easier if, if we go up here and then jump. Screw it. We have the laurels, we're gonna use them. Occasionally. Zigar has temporary invincibility. That skeleton took a bit more than usual. So that way we have the shield, and some holy water. Um. That's 
volcano, that's unfortunate. Okay, I was going to look at the map though again, because I need to know where to draw the garlic. Just right here. I'll give you a silk bay. Thank you. So now I can carry four garlic and four laurels. Now we're going to be wanting to go back up and continue on to the town of Ondal. There we go, only on day 14. Alright, I just got game over recently. I'm like, why are my hearts experience so low? Because it has the fires like up here. It's very strange. Wrong button. Wait, where can can I buy in the town? I'm going to, or... Uh, buy some laurels where we're going. Garlic we could buy where we came from. So we're going to go back to Elba to buy some garlic and with the laurels. still actually get some more money for that. I don't like the slimes. We're going over here. This is much better than the slump feeling of the slimes. When we hit night, it should be even better, because I just saw tons of enemies before all this night over at this part. Okay. Horrible night to have a curse. Yeah, only it takes 
two hits. You guys me a big heart, that's nice. lot of experience compared to hearts, though. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We're at, like, 21 experience. Good big heart. No, oh, we're not even getting experience here. Oh, well, we're getting some decent money, so I'm not going to complain too much. Wished a horrible night. Well, I got that. It's useless to me. Okay, so where in this town is Carmen San Diego? Um, okay, we're getting. Okay, the next town had what? Laurels or garlic? Just laurels. Okay. So we want garlic first. Which is. Okay.
You know, not a great business model if you're hiding from your customers. Will you buy some garlic? Will you buy some garlic? Will you buy some garlic? Okay, so we're at eight. Just can still buy some laurels. Before we leave town. Um, where are they? Okay. Okay. Just go down the stairs that are like hold it. Stairs in a row and then until you find a door. Pretty basic. Some of my laurels, yes, please. And some more. And that's all I can afford. next town. But we're also at like 258 and like I said I can't really s go over on today's stream unfortunately because I do have a family gathering. I'm leaving like almost right away. Um, but yeah so because it'll probably be a while before I play this game again, I'm just going to end this video by saying I am in the town of Ondal. I just got here, so I haven't done anything in this town yet. So, for future Eric watching this video back to find out what he has to do next next time I play this. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert, I will die again. I mean, that's not really a spoiler. I die a lot in a lot of games. Yeah, thanks for coming by, Nick, uh, and anyone else who is still here. Um, I'll be streaming again tomorrow, same time as today, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. Continuing on with Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. And then on Tuesday again, uh, continuing, same time, continuing on with uh, Blaster Master. After that, next stream won't be until next week, Sunday, when for Sub Request Sunday I am doing... What am I doing next week? Let's check it out. Um, cause yeah, cause I'm working Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. Yeah, next... Oh, um, Legend of Zelda. Some more 
attempts at 100%, zero game over of that. Um, but yeah, if you like the, enjoy the stream and you aren't already following, don't forget to hit that follow button. You can also check me out on various other social media, like uh, following me on Twitter, joining my Discord, all that jazz. And we're going to go quickly raid someone before um, I have to head out. Um, who are wanting to raid? Let's see who is live and on location on Twitch. Um. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, because I have to leave right away, I'm going to go with someone a bit easier. Um, Astro streaming, has he started yet, or is he still on his going live screen? Oh, he has started. So we're just going to go raid Astropath. This was also, you know, sub request for him. He's streaming now and so we're gonna go over there raid him so if anybody wants to raid with me copy and paste the raid message I mean copy it now and then paste it when we get into his chat thanks everyone for coming out I'll see you all later it's been a blast <coughs> and yeah um, make sure I'm not forgetting anything okay there we go Bye.